Hello, Sim family. My name is Carrie Jessica. If you are new, welcome. I am your friendly neighborhood silver haired simmer. I am the mom in the neighborhood that spends as much, if not more, screen time than the kids, and today is no exception. I am going through a personal moral, not a moral dilemma, a conflicting dilemma, an internal crisis, if you will. Um, I think, I think I like Max's match. Come with me. So I am going to, let's see, I'm going to do a cast of full edit mode because we're, ooh, full edit mode because we are going to be editing the heck out of some Sims. Um, I have been on pain meds <laughs> and watching Euphoria and playing Sims for days and days on end. And what happened while I was in this state is I accidentally stumbled upon a love for Max's match? I don't understand. Okay, let me pop over to my library and um, look at all the beautiful Sims here. So this is a Sim that I have been playing with off camera. I do have all of her CC linked here, which is kind of difficult because it's not a link, but um, I will put it in the description box below as well. Um, let me go ahead and plop her in. I Okay. Um, when I, she's an orange sim from my off camera let's play. And when I filtered through the color orange, the, you know, Max's hair stuff came up and I remember loving this hair. So I threw it on her and then was just like, um, I think I really like this. I think I like this a lot. The reason why her stuff is a little bit different is she is from Sims queen, I believe is the, um, YouTuber's name that has like a 2.0 continuation of not so very not important, but that's what I've been doing off camera. I absolutely love it. But anyway, I accidentally fell in love with her and um, then I decided to go on a three day binge of downloading Maxis Match, Maxis Mix custom content. And um, I think we're making a switch. I, th I think we're making a switch. I, I thought that I was like a diehard alpha person, but there was something about the look of the world when I had the Maxis mixed sim in there that just was very cohesive and I kind of liked it. I kind of liked it a lot. Yeah, I don't, I don't need you here, but you're still saved. Um, that I am going to give Aiden a Maxis mixed makeover and I might be pulling out all of my alpha hair from my game. I'm not going to just like remove it. I'm just going to take it off of my mods folder onto my desktop because I, I don't know. I don't know if this is just a phase. I don't know. I don't know what we're going through right now. Um, but yeah, I think, I think that's what I'm doing. So let me go ahead from the gallery again. And I know that I have Aiden saved at some point. I want to say maybe from his like teenage years so that we can go back and forth and take a look. There are some things that will be very hard for me to part with. Like this overlay is just, it's so good. So I'm not saying that I'm getting rid of everything that is alpha. I just think that I'm going to do more of a blended Maxis mix. So hopefully you will hang out with me on the ride while we do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take off his custom content. Oh my God, sir. What? <laughs> what? Okay. Why do you have wrinkles? <laughs> I don't understand. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take his hair off. This is Aiden without anything. That's very strange to me. Very, very strange to me. This is the butterish. This is the same like default that I have, but if you layer it on top, it gives a little bit more contour. This is what he had before. And I absolutely love it. And I don't know that I'm getting rid of it because even though it is alpha, it's not as if it's hyper real. So I don't know, I might leave it. I might leave it. All right, I'm gonna leave it on for right now. We're just gonna see. We're gonna see what happens here. I don't know. I'm still a little stuck on if I can give up the M5 overlay. I'm not not a hundred percent sure how I feel about that. All right, let's go in and just change his eyebrows and hair and see if that gives me enough of that blend that I'm looking for. And this is kind of difficult because right now I have alpha and Maxis match and Maxis mix, I guess, stuff in. So it's a lot to kind of look at. I'm a little overwhelmed. I have to say, I like that. Okay. Okay. So he has a more like grown up political look to his hair. So some of these that I do actually like um, aren't quite what I would do for him right now anyway. That's actually very cool. I could get used to that. Let's get him in the right color. 
I know that's kind of orange. Oh, that hair actually looks really good. This is from Grim Cookies. I like that hair for him. Okay, so I definitely need to change his eyebrows. I'm saying that like I've definitely been skewed as to like what I associate with a more Maxis look. And in this, just know that my own like acting like it's a big deal, that's just because it's so different than what I'm used to looking at. It's not a big deal at all. None of this is that deep. I think I need some good Maxis eyebrows. Ooh, okay, I think those are good. I think those are good. Okay, I can I can do this. I think I'm gonna one more time toggle off of this N5 overlay with something else and see if I can't get used to it. Um, Cause I really do think that's all it is. It's just a matter of me getting used to it. I do like this rose water one because you can age them in the same skin details. That's really handy. Okay. Um, do I like that? I think I might like that. Um, all right, let's do that. And then I think he needs some freckles to kind of, like it's almost too soft. Oh, I kind of like those. That's cute. Okay, I like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let me look at a few more hair uh, options. You know what? I'm already liking this better. I think that this one is a little bit too like pinky red for like my heart to adjust to. Maybe that's part of my issue. Was that an option with the Grim Cookie hair? Mm, I think I kind of like this. I feel like he's a bit of a messy politician anyway. So I think I think I might go with this one. Um, and just so that I can kind of see, because this one feels. This one feels too pinky red, and this one almost feels like a little orangey, so let me click on orange and see the difference. Okay, yeah, all right. I'm gonna say this is red. This is the color that we're going with. Maybe this is a nice way for me to bridge the gap. Okay, I, I think I can I think I can do this. I think I, I like him, I'm excited for this. Okay, um, oh, you know what I didn't think of? Did this carry over to all of his stuff, please? Yes. Okay. All right, Aiden. All right, and then next up is Everly. So let's, I'm gonna remove her glasses just so we can see her face. All of her skin details are gone, are they? Yes, all of her skin details are gone and her hair is gone. I like that there's a lot of options. So you can get a little bit of like depth and shadowing with it. I like that one, I think. Okay, we're gonna go with a little freckle because I, I, I honestly don't remember. Um, all right, let's add a little of this Boo Boo blush and then the Pixis face stuff. I like to do this one. I feel like it brings that that boo boo blush a little closer into the nose, which is where I feel like it would hit naturally anyway. I think the eyebrows, honestly, strangely enough, I think the eyebrows are the hardest part for me. Okay, those eyebrows are actually cute. Let's see what color kind of jumps out to me for yellow, because I kind of feel like it would be this one or this one. This one's a little bit more of like a goldy color. I think I'm gonna stick with this one. I feel like that's closest to what her little braids were before. Um, and then what am I gonna do for her hair? What am I gonna do? So she had long hair with braids on each side, but I don't necessarily feel like emotionally attached to like making sure it stays that way. She's a child, she's gonna age up soon anyway. Um, oh, that's actually really cute. <laughs> Oh, that's really cute. Okay, I kind of feel like the two little like ponies in the back is a little bit of a nod to her former braids. How cute. All right, so we have Aiden with his Maxis mixed look and we have Everly with her Maxis mixed look. Okay, so now that we have done them, I am gonna go ahead and remove our former Aiden from the household. Um, I'm gonna go in and grab a few more Zim from this Let's Play and give them a Maxis Mixed Makeover. 
who else is going to need to be made over? Oh my gosh, this is the whole household where I just remade a bunch of Sims. These are the base Sim. I will link the video to this um, in the description box below. These are ones that I just went through and made over and put them in the world. Oh, this is really cute. She had a lighter brown though. All right. Moving right along. Oh, look at that. It's right there next to it and it's so similar. This is the one she had and this is the one we're gonna move to. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's really similar to what he had. I will say too, I think that doing this, I feel like there was a lot more options for different textures of hair in the Maxis Match custom content than there was, than there ever was an alpha. So, um, so that could be good too. Oh, I love it. Okay. Wow. I can't believe I like this as much as I do. I like that a lot. All right, do we have something fancy enough for this sim? I am gonna change her skin details just because hers is very alpha. Like it, it's kind of a hyper alpha look. Um, and she had a big updo, but I kind of feel like a blunt sleek look would work too. Oh, that's so pretty. I, yeah, I didn't need to be sold, but I think I'm so sold on this. We could do this. Okay, let's change her eyebrows to to that. Okay, so here's where it's gonna be kind of hard for me. I need to definitely change her skin details. That's way too alpha. I think this tinsel one might be, is that what it's called? Yeah, tinsel. I think this tinsel one might be one of my favorites. And then we have a big bun. Some of these Nightcrawler hairs, whew. If someone knows anyone who's converted some of the Nightcrawler hairs into the like clay Maxis match, I would love to have that knowledge. Oh, big bun. <gasps> okay, that's super cute. I kind of love it messy. I love it messy. Okay, this one I could see being one of my favorites. Like the whole reason I think I'm growing my hair out from the pixie that it was in is because I want to have a giant big bun again. And some of my skin details are gonna change over time. Like I'm not trying to change everything today, uh, but some of them I can already see are a little out of place already. So I can see going a little bit different with my skin details used as well. But for today, I'm just kind of focused on doing this part of it. Okay, who's next? All right, let's go ahead and move them back to not being in our like managed households. Ooh, these were some other ones that I made over. Um, but first, first things first, let's get to our, our like main people. So let's give mom Megan a makeover. I can never remember where she lives. Megan Holiday, my, my mob criminal mom here. Okay, let's take your hair off and she's definitely blonde and then let's fix her eyebrows real quick just so that we can get a look for them to be matching that feels very like teen megan like younger megan i would have loved that for her i kind of like that i like that okay my dogs are outside barking at the poop scooper guy okay ainsley she already has kind of a Maxis mix, I guess, look to her um, skin details. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's a little bit how her hair, yeah. That's actually how her hair kind of was. Okay, I like it. I like it a lot. And she's got fuller brows. There, okay, I like those. Who's next? There are a couple more households that I made. This is one of them that I just dropped in the world to see if Aiden ever met them. And I will kind of do the same for them real quick. That's cute. I, have, I haven't used these in so long that I don't really like, even the regular ones that come in game are kind of a surprise to me right now. And you, sir, are next. Again, he already has kind of, I, I feel like I was already going down this path a little bit because I feel like half of the sim that I've made recently have got a little bit more of like a Maxis look to their faces. Um, yeah, I feel like I've been kind of slowly heading in this direction for a while. That's pretty much what he had before. That's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, let's do this. There we go. Okay, I like him. Let's go find Daxton. Daxton needs new hair. Uh, we live in Newcrest. All right, Daxton. Okay, so he has kind of like an up and over blonde. 
Look at that. It's a hair that comes in the game and I think it's perfect. Okay. I'm going to double check if I love this hair for her. Okay. I think I like this hair better. All right, guys, thank you for hanging out with me while I had this little bit of a, I don't know, like identity crisis. <laughs> um, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button and hit the like button, drop a comment. Believe it or not, those things help my channel and I greatly appreciate it. I normally upload videos about three to four times a week. I run Not So Berry as well as a mystical motherhood occult baby challenge and I like to hang out in cast. So if you wanna hang out with me at other places on the internet, I will put the links to my socials in the description box below. And that's all. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye.